Jules. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a special guest with me today. I know you guys have seen her in quite a few of my videos, but I wanted to do a dedicated video just about um, my dog, just so you guys could kind of know more about her because she's, uh, she's really special. She's really sweet and she's really funny. So if you want to know more about my dog, just keep on watching. Um, first question is what is your dog's name or what is your pet's name? So obviously Bailey is a dog. <laughs> so what is your pet's name? My pet's name is Bailey and is spelled B-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. I don't know why I decided to spell it that way, but that's how her name is spelled. Uh, second question is how did you come up with the name and does it have any specific significance? No, actually, um, it doesn't have any significance to me other than the fact that I just like the name Bailey. Really how I came up with her name was looking from a list of all these <laughs> different names of pets. I originally wanted to name her Zoe, and uh, but the person I was with at the time, oh bless you. The person I was with at the time didn't really like that name, so I just, just uh, we decided together to name her Bailey, and I wanted it to be spelled a little bit differently, so that's why it's spelled the way that it's spelled. How old is your pet? Bailey is a five and a half years old. She is actually, her birthday is exactly one week before mine, so her birthday is October 21st. My birthday is October 28th, so, um, it's nice that we can uh, celebrate our birthdays together, sort of. When did you get your pet? I got Bailey in November of 2012, if I'm doing my math right. Yeah, um, so she'll be six this year. And um, so yeah, I got her in 2012 in November. I got her when she was five weeks old. And she was this cute little puppy. She was like three pounds when I got her. She was, oh my gosh, she was so cute. She's a lot more gray now, but when I got her, she was like almost black. So I thought she was going to be black. Um, that didn't end up happening. So she's gray. <laughs> what breed is your pet? Now, this is a question that's always like really um, a struggle for whatever reason. When people ask me what breed my dog is, and I tell them what I was told when I adopted her, they're like, uh, I don't think so. And I'm like, if only, uh, if only they had seen what her mom looked like when, um, I got her, I got, I saw her mom when I got her and her mom definitely looked like what they claimed her breed is. Oh yay, it just started to rain slash snow. But so Bailey's breed was classified as Shih Tzu Dachshund and um, I can personally see both of those breeds in her. Uh, I think other people just have a lot of other opinions. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't really see the point in doing one of those DNA tests for her. I don't really care a whole lot. Uh, she is just kind of like a, a Heinz 57. That's really what I've been telling people because a lot of times people try to argue with me, especially like at the dog park, about what kind of breed she is. And I think that's really dumb. She has the body of a dachshund like lengthwise, but then like her legs are kind of like the length of a Shih Tzu. So I think that's where uh, people kind of get confused as to the dachshund because dachshunds have really short legs. But she's really scruffy like a Shih Tzu. And she's got, it seems like she has hair and fur. So, I don't know. How old were you when you got your pet? I was 20, um, so it's actually a lot easier for me to remember how old she is because I got her when I was 20, so like my age ended in a zero, which is, you know, how old you are when you're born is zero, but, um, so yeah, that's how I know. Since I'm gonna be 26 this year, I can remember that Bailey is also gonna be six. She's also gonna be six. She's gonna be six, so. I don't know, does that make sense? How did you get your pet? I, she just wants to get out of frame, uh, which is so funny because normally like she wants to be in frame at all times. Maybe she thinks she's on camera and that's why she's chilling. Um, but so I actually found Bailey on Facebook. I don't 
exactly remember how it happened, but at the time when I was looking for a dog when I got her, I was just looking pretty much anywhere. I was looking on Craigslist, anywhere I could find. I knew I wanted to rescue a dog. I didn't want to uh, like adopt a purebred dog. I just I really wanted um, to rescue a dog. So I found Bailey uh, on a rescue site. Um, and she was living in a foster home uh, when they posted that they were available she was only like th a couple weeks old so uh, we had to wait a little bit before we got her but she, she was in uh, Wichita Kansas and I was living up near like Manhattan Kansas at the time which was like two hours away so I traveled a little a little far to get this little little munchkin Okay, what is your pet's favorite food? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Bailey does not get table food, so it's really difficult for me to answer this question because um, she gets excited about any food that's like not her food. I mean, if I like really had to guess if she's anything like her mom, she, it would be bacon. Like, hands down, it would be bacon. What is your pet's favorite game? Okay, this one's actually quite funny. Bailey's favorite game is actually, well maybe it's not that funny, but I, I think it's funny. Bailey's favorite game to play in the entire world is fetch. She will play fetch for like literally hours as long as you just like keep throwing the, whatever, the ball, the toy, like whatever it is, you could play with her for a really long time. But the funny thing is, is anytime I take her to the like the dog park or anywhere that's like in public, she acts like she doesn't even know what fetch is. Like, uh, what is that? Why are you throwing that? I don't understand. Like, she's just like, I don't know. I think it's, she thinks she's human. I feel that's how she feels. Um, but <laughs> she would never were like surrounded by other dogs. She's like, mom, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> so I feel like it's quite funny that it's her favorite game in the world that she'll literally play for hours at home, but like will act like she has no idea what it is when we're out in public. So what is your favorite thing to do together? Um, personally, well, I mean, other than just like sitting at home and like hanging out together, um, kind of like how we are right now. I really like going on hikes with her. She is a great hiking dog, even though, you know, she's smaller. She really likes to go on walks and um, I really like to hike. I like to go on trails and Bailey is such a good dog that when I take her on trails, I don't have to have her on a leash. And a lot of times when you go hiking, they tell you that you need to have your dog on a leash. And sometimes I will have her on a leash, but it's more so for the courtesy of other people. It's not because I think Bailey is going to run away. She's such a good dog that she'll stay near me. Uh, we're very close. So um, whenever we're hiking and uh, she is, cause she always likes to be in front. She likes to be in, like way far in the front. If I stop and I don't say anything to her, I just stop walking. She just like, she knows and she turns around and she's like, why why did you stop like we're having such a great time walking we we need to keep going so <laughs> she so that's uh what i would say is our favorite thing to do together is to go hiking and i really cannot wait for the weather to start warming up here in michigan uh for us to actually be able to go out hiking because we haven't been able to do that since we moved here so i haven't found any trails yet okay do you go outdoors if yes what is your favorite place to go together okay so that's basically same question, same answer. Um, hiking trails. Uh, what is a bad habit that your dog has? Licking her dang lips. Oh my God, I cannot stand it when she's just like, she's like always licking her lips and it drives me up the wall. Oh my God, I cannot stand it. She's not doing it right now, surprisingly, but uh, yeah, licking her lips drives me insane. Uh, I don't know why she does it. So if like, you know why your my dog would be like licking her lips like a crazy dog? Let me know. Like, leave a comment down below because I don't know. What is the best thing that your pet has? Personality, hands down. 
She has the best personality. She is the sweetest dog you will ever meet. She's literally never met a stranger. Everyone is her new best friend. It's so sweet. Um, she's so chill right now, so it's like kind of really hard to see how um, how sweet and energetic she normally is. <laughs> it's like she's literally <laughs> trying to sleep as I'm filming this video, which would have been really nice to like have her in frame the whole time, but. Uh, but yeah, her personality is probably the best thing she has. I wish I could take credit for it that like I trained her to be like this and, and whatnot. But I mean, I did train her when she was little to like, I would keep surround her with people and, um, you know, with hats and glasses and people of all different skin colors and hair colors and hairstyles like and all that. So. I think maybe that contributed to it a little bit so she's I just wanted to her to be comfortable around everybody so um, but she's always been like a really really sweet dog um, I I remember when I was adopting her I asked the her foster mom is there something special about her and because I really want to know <laughs> she said that Bailey was the first puppy out of the entire litter to give her love and to me that was just like oh okay and so I just I really wanted a sweet dog I got one what is the naughtiest thing your pet has ever done well I mean she's a pretty well-mannered dog so like I don't know like the naughtiest thing but like the thing that drives me up the wall that she does sometimes is she'll go through like the bathroom trash if there's not a lid on it that's basically I mean that's pretty annoying so I guess that sure we'll go with that what is the funnest memory involving your pet um so my favorite memories that include Bailey, also include my best friend Christina because she's had dogs as long as I've known her and we're both uh, very big dog people and I think that's one thing that we like really connected when we were first becoming friends is we would um, do things with, um, with her dog. I didn't have Bailey at the time when we started to become friends, um, but when I was talking to her about getting a dog, she was very <laughs> excited and very encouraging. So, but my favorite memories include um, Bailey with Christina and her dogs, Duke, Gypsy. Um, Duke is no longer with us, but uh, Gypsy is also around and I also love her new dog, Loki. And uh, they're just, all of them uh, together is really, really sweet. They love Bailey and uh, just seeing them all play together is really sweet. Some more of my favorite memories that also include Christina is also with her daughter, which is also my goddaughter, Charlotte, and uh, her playing with Bailey is just like some of the sweetest things I've ever seen in my life. Bailey just loves Charlotte. She knows that she's family to us, so I just think that's so sweet. So I'm glad that I have Bailey for that, to, that she knows how much uh, Christina and Charlotte mean to me. So. I just love that, you know, yeah. And she knows, she, Bailey knows th their names too, so like if I'm talking about them, she's like, oh, are we talking about Christina? Yeah, we're talking about Christina. What is the hardest thing about being a pet owner? Um, the hardest part about being a pet owner for me specifically is not being able to like go out and like do things the way that I wanna do things. I don't like being far away from her for too long. Um, what is the most rewarding thing about being a pet owner? The unconditional love, hands down. Every time I come home from work or anywhere, even if I'm just gone for like 20 minutes and I come back, Bailey is so excited to see me. She's always like, ah, ah, ah. that's the sound she makes, it's so funny. Uh, whenever I come through the door, she gets really excited and jumps on me and it's very sweet. So, um, she just is so, she's, yeah, like I said, the unconditional love, it is literally unconditional. I have been away from her for extended periods of time and she's still like such a loyal dog and love that. Does your pet have a nickname and what is it? Bailey has 
multiple nicknames. Uh, sh and I can't really explain why they are what they are, but her nicknames are Bebe. Um, I also call her Punky, Punk, which is short for Punky. Munchkin? Maybe I call her Munchkin. I want to say the weirdest one though is Punky that I call her because it has absolutely nothing to do with her name, but literally she answers to it. She knows that I'm talking to her when I say, come here, Punky. Yeah, my little Punky girl. Sorry guys, my brow was showing. Not on purpose. Have you ever taught your pet any tricks? If so, what? Um, yes, Bailey is actually, uh, she knows quite a few tricks and so she knows the basics like sit, stay, uh, lay down. Um, so she also knows like sit pretty where she like sits up like that. Um, she knows roll over and she also knows, uh, let's just say she's like a distance away. I can go like this with my hand to her and say come and she will come and place her nose on my hand. Yes, I had to train her to do that. That was something that took a few weeks to do, but Bailey is very smart and uh, she was really easy to train. In my opinion, I did watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to train your dog. I don't really feel like I'm an expert at all in training my dog, but I, people are really impressed whenever Bailey does her tricks that she just knows all of them so well. And I'm like, I just, I trained her with like little shards of cheese. Like that's really what I did. And I think that was like the most effective thing for her was the little shards of cheese. Probably not the best thing for your dog, but I know that if you're doing them in like really small quantities, it's not like totally awful, but it did get Bailey to learn her tricks. And I taught her at a very young age. I taught her when she was about three months old. So I knew I wanted her to be well-mannered, even though she is a little dog. I know a lot of people with little dogs don't train them because they can just pick them up or put them in their kennel whenever they're being um, bad or misbehaving. So I didn't want Bailey to be like that. So that's why Bailey got trained very, very, very early in life. I'm sorry Bailey's been out of the frame for most of this video, but I'm gonna do my best to insert some pictures of her. She's just tired right now. You're just so tired. <laughs> yeah. I know I love you. She also does this really silly thing, which we call her side eye. She'll like look at you on the side, which I guess she's sort of kind of doing it right now, but <laughs> it's really funny when she does it. So we, we just call her giving us the side eye. <laughs> That's it for this video. I'm sorry if it was kind of long, but I just have a lot to say about my little baby. Bailey, <laughs> stop. If you liked this video, if you could give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about me or Bailey and our relationship or, you know, whatever, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. And it's very likely that Bailey is going to be in a lot of my videos in the future. She just likes being near me and being in the background, so considering she's been in a lot of my videos previously, I can see it happening in the future too. Yeah. You just like, I think you like being filmed. <laughs> all right, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you for not licking my face a whole lot because you know I do have makeup on. <gasps> Who is that? Finally, I get your stretch walk on camera. Come here. You're doing it again. Oh, come here. Hi. Good morning. Yeah, hi.